Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is specifically dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So those of you who are new to my channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button besides it so that you get notified whenever I publish a new video. Also I request all of you all to share these videos with whomever you think this might be beneficial. Students, a lot of y'all have asked me to suggest a book which gives you all these tricks. So I would suggest that a book named as Vedic Maths for All Ages is the best book for all the tricks related to mathematics. And the link for this book which is available on Amazon is given below in the description. So let's begin with today's topic. In today's topic, I'm covering how to subtract. Students, this topic is very closely related to the topic which I had previously published where that was how to add. The link of that video is also mentioned in the description. So students, I have seen many of the people start getting a bit nervous when it comes to subtraction. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to do subtraction without worrying about the carry and this trick is called as nothing but reverse addition. Now let's start with subtraction of two digits. Students initially I will take examples which will not have a carry. So let's see what happens when you subtract 26 minus 14. So now if this was your normal method you would have started by subtracting the units place and then you would have gone on the tens place. But in order to do this subtraction without worrying the, about the carry i will teach you a trick so basically your logic is what you should add to 14 so that you get 26 and that method is called as nothing but reverse addition okay so let's see here this is easier to add because somewhere on line 26 and 14 are quite close to each other but what if the numbers are very far so i'm going to teach you a method which will help you in counting faster. So here, what you do is, you start counting by 10 digits. So you add 10 to 14. So when you add 10 to 14, it becomes 24. And 24 is just two digits away than 26. So how much you have to add to 10 to reach to 26 is nothing but 12. Let's take another example. 38 minus 17. So now over here also we will start counting from 17 and go up to 38. Or basically what will we add to 17 so that our answer becomes 38. Okay. So in this case we again will start by counting 10 digits. So when you add 10 to 17 your answer becomes 27. But 27 is further apart than 38. So let's add more 10 to 27. So that gets you 37, which is just one digit away from 38. So basically you added 20 and you add one more to 20 to reach to 38. So basically your answer is 21. Now let's take a number which has a bigger gap. Let's say we are taking 65 minus 33. So here, what will happen is, let's start counting from 33 and we'll see what we are adding to 33 so that we get the answer as 65. So let's add 10 to 33, you get 43. So we have added 110. Now let's add two tens to 33, we get 53. Now let's add three tens to 33, we get 63, which is two digits away from 65 so we are adding two more digits to 30 okay so that gets you the answer as 30 
2. Okay. Now let's try a sum which involves a carry. Okay. So let's see what will happen when you subtract 34 minus 29. Now students over here you will have to judge if the numbers are very close to each other and when you add 10 to 29 basically when you're using the same method and if you add to 10 to 29 it becomes 39 so you have an option either you add 10 to 29 which gets you 39 and then you subtract from it to get to 34 or you simply count from 20 time to go up to 34 because both of them are close to each other but since we are using this method let's stick to that method only so here when you add 10 to 29 you get 39 but you want the answer to be 34 so here you will go how much behind from 39 is basically 5 units so 10 minus 5 is again 5 okay let's take another example 13 minus 4 so now again let's add 10 to 4 so you get 14 which is just one digit more than 30. So basically you will go one digit back from 10. So 10 minus 1 gets you 9. Now let's see for another example. 42 minus 18. Now again we will start counting from 18 and we will go up to 42. So when you add 1 10 to 18 you get your answer as 28 when you add 2 tens to 18 you get your answer as 38 okay and now if you add one more 10 you will get your answer as 48 and 48 is how many units ahead of 42 that is 6 so either you go 6 units back from 30 which is 24 or if that becomes a bit of a difficulty, you can simply start from adding 10 to 18, that is 28. And then you add one more 10 to 18, which is 38. And then you realize that 38 is very close to 42. So let's start counting from 38. So you get 39, 40, 41, 42. So you are adding four more digits to 20. So that gets you 24. Okay, students, so either ways, either you keep adding 10 and then you go back in case of a carry or you keep adding 10 and get closest to this number and then you start counting simple digits whichever are left. Okay, now let's try another one. What happens when you subtract 56 minus 17? Again, let's start counting. So here, when you add 110 to 17, you get 27. You add 2 tens to 17, you get 37. You add 3 tens to 17, you get 47. And you add 4 tens to 17, you get 57, which is just one digit ahead of 56. So instead, you will just subtract 1 from 40, that is nothing but 30. 9. Okay. Now students here we saw subtraction involving only two digits. Let's see what happens when you subtract more than three digits. Okay. So here I'm taking an example of 72 minus 21 minus 12 minus 8. I just have to write one minus because I'm anyways subtracting, okay? So your students, whenever you come across subtraction of more than two numbers, what you should do is, you should keep the biggest number as it is, okay? And then subtract the sum of the rest of the numbers. So now here, I'm going to simply add all of them, okay? And how do we add? We add from right to left, okay? So 2 which is in 10th place, 
that is means it is 20 and 1 which is in tens place that means it is 10. So 20 plus 10 gets you 30 plus 1 that is gets you 31 plus 2 gets you 33 and plus 8 gets you 41. So now I want to subtract 41 from 72. So if I want to do that I will start counting from 41. Now let's add 110 to 41 that gets you 51. Let's add 2 tens to 41 that gets you 61. And now let's add one more 10 to 61 gets you 71 which is just one unit away from 72. So you're going to add one more to 30 that gets you 31. Okay. Now students when you look at these tricks Right now, it might be easy, but I would tell all of you all to practice these sums at least 20 to 30 times so that you get the hang of all these tricks. Okay, and the best part about these tricks is they help you in giving you an estimation of your answer. Just as in this case, when we had to subtract so many numbers from 72, what we could do using our method, we realized that our answer will be somewhere in terms of 30s and this estimation helps you a lot when you are preparing for your entrance exams. Now let's see how to subtract three digit numbers. Okay, so for example, let's take 152 minus 131. So over here also. I am going to start with examples which do not involve carry right now. Okay. So now as we can see both the numbers are in terms of hundreds. Okay. And we have seen that the number in the tens place is on top is bigger than the number in the tens place at the bottom. So here I don't have to worry about the hundreds place. I can directly subtract them. So 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay, so basically I am not going to be bothered about the hundreds. I am just going to consider this as 52 minus 31. Okay, so now when you subtract 31 from 52, you start counting from 31. So let's count. When you add 10 to 31, you get 41. When you add 10 more to 41, you get 51, which is just one digit away from 52. So you're going to add 1 to 20 that gets you. 21. So now let's see what happens when we subtract 143 from 256. So now students, we can follow the method of counting from 143 by adding tens. But instead of adding tens, to 143 if I directly add a hundred let's see what's the answer when I add a hundred to 143 my answer becomes 243 and if you look closely it is quite close to 256 so let's add a hundred directly and see how quickly we can come to our answers so once I added a hundred to 143 I have got my answer as 243 and then let's start adding 10 from there. So if I add a 10 to 243, I get my answer as 253, which is just three digits behind 256. So basically I added a 100 plus I added a 10 and then I added three more digits to come to 256. And if you want to cross verify, you can simply add 113 to 143 you will see that your answer becomes 256. Now, let's take another example. What will happen when you subtract 109 from 426? So over here also, instead of going and adding tens, let's add hundreds. Okay, because the difference between the two numbers is quite big. So if I'm adding 100 to 109, I'm getting 209. If I'm adding 200 to 109, I'm getting 309. And if I'm adding 300 to 109, I'm getting 
409, which is very close to 426. So after adding 300, let's add a 10 to 409. That gets you 490. And so now basically we have added 310 and we are getting 490. So add one more 10 to it. So we are getting 490. 29. So basically when I added 320, I got 429, which is three digits ahead of 426. So I just take three. So I just come three digits behind 320. So when I subtract three from 320, I get 317. Now let's see what happens when you subtract 389 from 425. Now here you can see if I'm adding a hundred over here my answer becomes 489 which is very much ahead of 425. So here we'll stick to our normal method of adding tens. So if I'm adding one ten to 389 I'm getting 399. I'm adding one more 10, I'm getting 409. I'm adding another 10, I'm getting 419. And if I'm adding one more 10, I'm getting 429, which is just four units ahead of 425. So if I go four units behind 40, I will get 425. So four, when subtracted from 40, my answer becomes 36. So students, in this way, you can do subtractions for various digits. But I would suggest that all of this will come with tremendous amount of practice and if you want i can put up questionnaire which will have all of these kind of sums along with the answers so that you can refer to that questionnaire online if you want me to do that then please hit the like button and also comment a yes in my comment section so that's it for this video i will see you in the next video thank you